what do you say to women who must might be going through women or men going through any transitions at this time? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things I would say is be kind to yourself and practice self-compassion. I think a lot oh, of times um, we're so used to, you know, achieving and knowing the answer and having a plan, right? Mm-hmm. And so when you're going through a life transition, a lot of that goes out the window, (laughs) right? All of a sudden your plan looks completely different or you don't know what it looks like anymore because so much has changed and shifted, you know? And a lot of times we can expect the same out of ourselves Mm -hmm. during that phase as we do during times when life seems to be going smoothly, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning a lot of times we can expect from ourselves that we quote unquote should be doing all the same things that we do when life is going smoothly, right? Right. Exercising the same way, eating the same way, showing up at work the same way, showing up with our, for our friends and family the same way. But the fact is that this may be a time that you need to be a little bit more gentle with yourself mm-hmm. and be kind to yourself and practice self-compassion. You know, one thing I always invite people to do is also name the transition that they're going through, mm-hmm. because sometimes you're just going through it and you start to identify yourself with it, right? You start to identify yourself with the burnout, with the divorce, with the empty nest, with the health diagnosis, right? Mm-hmm. But you are not that thing. You are not the divorce. You are not the career burnout. You are not the anxiety. It's something you're going through. So that's one of the first steps I often invite people to do is Name the transition because what that does automatically, it starts to create some space between you as an individual and the situation, right? And so so that in itself can be very powerful. Mm -hmm. 